been a remote employee with FTI Consulting since 2015 upon moving from Chicago to Los Angeles. For me, I find working from home, I am more efficient. I don't have anything outside of what's scheduled binding me to a specific workspace. One of the key things to remember when working from home is being disciplined, establishing what you're going to do for the day. And remember, it's still work, but you have the opportunity to balance personal and work. If I have a dedicated workspace, I want it to feel a certain way like it would at work. I don't want it to feel sterile with just two monitors and a laptop. So I have certain work items, whether it be little trinkets, pictures of my family. Being able to lead and mentor from home really comes down to goals. Am I able to set goals that we can measure against? When you think of coaching in sports, it's not like there's set times to coach. You're always coaching, you're always practicing, you're always playing. It's just constant stream of communication. As I think of something, I can engage with that particular person. As they think of something, they can engage with me. Social tools allow us to look at dynamic goals we've set for ourselves and allow us to do it on a regular basis. Working from home is about establishing a work-life balance and not getting caught up in too much personal or too much work. If I can schedule my day accordingly versus doing things ad hoc, I find that I'm able to create that balance. Being able to get the reprieve from standing or sitting in front of a computer all day and being able to get outside allows you to re-energize. I don't feel it's hindered in a work from home environment. I put myself in a position to better get goals that you set out for yourself, both personally and professionally.